Kim, thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. We know that it's difficult to jump in an off-road car with someone that you don't know <laughs> driving. I have nothing but trust. <laughs> okay, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Tell me, what we got here in this Gladiator 20, it's a Gladiator 2020 motorized, right? Yes, exactly. So what we did is we started with a production Rubicon um, and we've added a, a handful, about 10, a dozen of our sort of marquee um, okay. accessories and performance parts just to show sort of the realm of the possible um, with what you can do uh, easily with our Mopar accessories and Jeep performance parts. So we've gone after a couple of things here. Um, number one, from an off-road perspective. So we have our, our Jeep performance parts, two inch lift kit. Okay. Right, so you get two inches of lift. Uh, and we also have on this vehicle, 35 inch um, all-terrain okay. tires, cam twos. Okay, so then with this, we can go yep, everywhere, almost everywhere, tires, yeah, okay. Anywhere you need to go, <laughs> <laughs> at least. We're not buying one of the first Gladiators offline to develop a lift kit. Okay. We've had our lift kit in vehicles. From the very beginning. For okay. The past years, yeah. That's the same thing with the, with the doors, with this uh, yeah. tubular doors? Absolutely, so there's a few things going on here that really um, capitalize on that open air okay um, functionality of the gladiator this is open air this, this is really open air <laughs> this is literally open air right? okay so you can see obviously the windshield is down tell me where are the ideas coming from in this case to develop these doors or i mean the protection here at the, the roof uh well there yeah certainly is no shortage of ideas um when we look at a new vehicle uh, we really try and understand uh like on the vehicle side, who's the customer, what are they going to be using the vehicle for, okay. and then what can we provide at Mopar to really enhance that experience. And it's usually the pillars of, you know, off-road, in this case, truck functionality. Okay. Um, so tonneau covers and organization drawer systems and integrated trailer brake control modules, things like that. But then also, you know, not unique to the Gladiator, but all vehicles in general is that um, that need or desire for customers in general to just personalize okay. their vehicle. You, you get know? a lot of feedback from, from them in yeah, Easter Safari, do. some other events. Exactly, and the, so those are sort of the more extreme where we get the most um, passionate, okay. I would say. Okay. Enthusiasts and, and customers for our products, events like Easter Jeep Safari okay. in Moab and SEMA. and smells so good the mat yeah. down there uh, you have so to here you go. Here's a good example yeah that, nice yeah yeah it protects a little bit another one almost as though <laughs> you know i'm a um, rider of uh, their bikes rider and i i love the the branches, branches to hitting you and that. <laughs> wear that's full <laughs> yeah mask? no, no um, full full helmet always tell me uh, so far kim which one is the accessory that is being more demanded for the Gladiator. If I had to choose just one, it would probably be our lift kits. Okay, which makes sense because put our figures in terms of attack angle and so on in closer to the to the Wrangler, right? That's right. It we, also looks cool. Yeah. You don't underestimate. No, absolutely. <laughs> Ahora vamos a probar eh, la desconexión del sway bar y por eso van a ver el auto que levanta la patita, se adapta mucho más porque en este momento la rueda puede bajar, se queda libre como suspensión independiente en cada una de las ruedas y permite a este Gladiator afrontar obstáculos diferentes en cada una de las ruedas y avanzar sin problemas. Sí. 